today's episode, I wanted to show you what it's like to go from the streets of New York City up into a $13.9 million loft apartment. We're on Beach Street here in Tribeca. So right off the street, welcome to the Fisher Mills building. We have a doorman off to our right here, package room, all of that. Here's actually a cool shot of the building back in the day. And I love how they left a lot of original features like the red brick and even check this out. Look how big this column is. And they left a lot of these original features even in the loft throughout the tour. So from the entryway, elevator access up, we're going to the third floor. Off of the elevator, there's only two units on this whole floor and we are checking out 3AB. So right off of the entryway, this is the landing. You can see behind me, you actually have outdoor space, which is super rare for a loft. We'll get to that later. The beauty of this place is there's a ton of really high-end finishes that we have to take our time to just really appreciate. Like below us, these are walnut floors. This is all plaster on the walls here. Everything's trimless, so if you look, there's this little groove here where the walls are floating. And then you have the lighting switch here with this brass giving it that nice modern feeling. Then you've got this whole wall of perforated steel lockers. All of them have built-in lighting, and then even this, Look at this big steel frame here with, again, more reclaimed wood, just a nice seating area to take off your shoes, all that coming in from the New York cold. Right off of the entryway, check this out. You've got French doors and a view right there, so you're getting light as you walk into this space. So if you've got your entryway here, seating area, French doors, heading in, if you've got your kitchen in front of you, this is the pantry. Just check it out, because I wanted to show the whole place because New York, Space is limited. So this is your pantry. Again, the control panel in here. And I want you to look at these doors. These are black and steel framed with that frosted glass here giving it that industrial feeling. And these are buster and punch handles, all imported. And if you look real close, look at these grooves in here. That's some luxurious stuff right there. And then again, like I mentioned, it's that mix of the luxury with the original, original column here. Leading into this kitchen, which is just, I mean, look at this. This is a Cristallo waterfall edged island. Look at this thing, this is beautiful. You've got three seats here for a nice little breakfast bar. In this island, you have all of your built-ins. You've got the microwave, I even check these out. So these are all double drawers here to maximize your storage. And again, all of the handles have that etching. And then if we walk around the back end, you've got the Castallo on the countertops, half with the backsplash. And then again, all the handles here are brass, oversized sink here. One of the most aesthetic kitchens I've ever seen. Apparently all the wood here, this is all reclaimed as far as the open wood shelving here. All the lighting underneath. This is an eight burner wolf cooktop with a griddle. And then of course, you've got a nice brass pot filler just because. That's like the number one sign of luxury. Because normal people, you go to the sink and fill your pot, but here, you've got the pot filler on the stove. And then again, you have all that blackened steel here on the cabinetry with that frosted glass. And then check these out. These are all paneled sub-zero refrigerator. That's not it. This is the wine storage. <laughs> what is this? Now this is on more storage. This is my first time seeing this place. My buddy Alex is listening to it and he hit me up saying, check it out. I think you'd appreciate it. This is the sub-zero. And as you can see, people are still living here. So we're not gonna intrude their refrigerator space. <laughs> But I like how it's all paneled with the steel. The kitchen is wild, and even it's very wide, like the space between the island and the cabinetry. And then on the far side of the island here, we've got more shelving down below. The agent said that this was plaster, but comment down below if you know exactly what this is, because I'm not, I'm not quite sold. Again, these doors, super industrial, leading into your powder room. Again, you have that plaster question mark on the walls and the floors. And look at these handles, come on in here. Look how substantial these are. These are light dimmers. Buster and punch again, very expensive. It just adds that industrial feeling. And then again, more reclaimed wood here on the, uh, the vanity and then the back there. And then on the other one, I wanna show everything because I think in a New York apartment, you kinda have to see everything. So then this is your laundry room right off of the kitchen. And even just look at this laundry room, everything's so aesthetic. You've got the hexagon tiling on the floor, washer and dryer. More open shelving here. And again, the brass fixtures, inlay lights, like just everything, even in the laundry room, looks nice. Now for the fun stuff. So out of the kitchen area, we've got your dining room here, seating for eight, and then check this out. You've got one, two, three, four, five windows here facing west, so you can even see 
the Hudson River from this loft. Sunlight pouring in the entire day. You'll have reviews forever because you can't build in this area here. It's all been uh, zoned, so you're gonna have that view forever here. Then again, more of this, I was gonna say plaster, but I think it's micro cement. Again, comment below if you know what this is. The back of here, you have more of that steel, that blackened steel, and I want you to look up. So again, these are all original beams here and this has all been city proofed. So there's about three inches of soundproofing in the ceilings here, so you hear nothing at all. And in New York City, that is, that's a peace of mind right there. That's very, very rare. That is a luxury in itself. Even something as simple as sunlight in a New York City apartment can really have a big effect on your mental health. And I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this week's video. The bottom line, life can be tough. Things can weigh down on you, especially in a city like New York. And over the past two to three years, especially since I started back up in school, I have gone through the largest shift in my own mental health in my life thus far. And I've been working with a therapist for the past nine months or so, and this guy has shifted my perspective on just about everything. I used to have a very closed mindset. Especially for men, which most of you watching this are, there's still that stigma around mental health and talking to a therapist that it's seen as a weakness when in fact it is the total opposite. Aristotle said that knowing ourselves is the beginning of all wisdom. And if you're like me, living a life of stoicism is something I practice daily and I can confidently say that therapy is the number one way to get on the path of knowing thyself. It really is. And BetterHelp is a great way to facilitate that. They are the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. Finding the right therapist is crucial. I went through a bunch before I found the guy I'm with now. And BetterHelp has a network of over 30,000 licensed therapists, which you're matched with by filling out your personal preferences when you start on BetterHelp. With BetterHelp, you get that same professionalism and quality you would expect with in-person therapy. But with a therapist who is custom picked for you with more flexible hours, and at a more affordable price. You get 10% off your first month when you sign up at betterhelp.com slash Eric. That's betterhelp.com slash E-R-I-K. I've also went ahead and linked them down below in the description. And with that, let's get back to the rest of this Tribeca Loft Tour. From the sitting area, dining room, all open concept, to your pool hall where you have a plank and hide steel pool table. Look at this. How cool is that? Just the materials, the steel, the wood, industrial Tribeca loft. Just screams it everywhere. And behind us here, you've got your wet bar here, open concept shelving, more of that reclaimed wood, seating for three, and check this out. This is temperature and humidity controlled wine storage with your strip lighting here, giving it that nice feeling at nighttime, just really adding to the ambiance. And I love how it's all just steel and glass. And even take a look at this. The original steel on these beams here. I love how they left those original touches because a lot of times in builds like this, they'll really take away the character, but they have that balance here with the luxury and the heritage, which I love. Off of the pool hall, look at this. So this slides shut. So you could close this off for some privacy or keep it on open in a loft. The hardest thing is really dividing the space so you can have it open concept or close that off. And here you have a nice little cozier, intimate little sitting area with another TV, cool light fixture over top here. Then looping around, look at this. Reclaimed barnyard door here, sealing off a full bathroom so you have your shower again with the steel and glass. So this could technically be another guest bedroom because it has a shower on the bathroom. Looping around, this is the second door, so this is the landing we came in off the elevator. And like I mentioned, you only have one neighbor, which is right there. So you have two doors in this space here. And then looping around, this is another view of the pool hall, your living room, dining room, kitchen, just to get a feeling of the space and how open it really is. We're gonna make our way back now to the living quarters in this loft. This is the home office, and I love this space just because it does have that office feeling. You have the exposed brick, you even have a window so you do have light coming into this office. It's not like a, a cavernous space, it actually has some light and really good energy in here. Probably a really expensive piece of furniture there. Out of the office, back into the gallery hallway, this is the first of the guest bedrooms. And just for a little bit of perspective, these are all huge guest bedrooms. Like This could be the main bedroom in any other New York apartment. And again, they all have access to outdoor space, which we're gonna see in a sec. Out of this bedroom, back into the hallway, 
You have your bathroom that serves these two bedrooms here. Let's take a peek in here. Check out the tiling on the floor. Subway tiling here on the backsplash. The vanity, you've got that reclaimed wood. Two sinks here, the brass faucets. The whole back wall here is your mirror with that lighting strip over there leading into your walk-in shower. Rainfall shower head, again, the brass fixtures here. You've even got the uh, detachable for all the fine parts of the body. And then this is pretty cool. This is something you'd see in like an old classroom, the little steam vent here. From the bathroom across the hall, second bedroom with this chandelier, which, I mean, that's some kind of crystal and it's probably real expensive. That's not what I came in here to talk about. The outdoor space. So like I mentioned, these doors lead to your wraparound balcony where you have a view of your courtyard. You can access every single bedroom from this catwalk here. And if you look down, that is the original, original structure there where all that moss is growing on those beams. To have outdoor space in a loft, that's kind of unheard of unless you have the penthouse. And like I mentioned, it connects every single room. So this would be the third guest bedroom in here. Same as the other ones, another cool, expensive chandelier over top here. And this one actually has an ensuite bathroom. So this would technically be the, the junior primary. Back into the hallway, off to my left here. This is the owner's wing of the loft. got your bathroom and closet off to the left here and look at this bedroom this is as New York as it gets and you have these three windows which we're now facing on North Moore Street so if we pop our heads out we have views of one of the nicest blocks in Tribeca cobblestone streets some of the best dining in the city if you want you can get that New York atmosphere or you can have the windows shut and have total peace and quiet in this loft we have again the Lutron system so with a push of a button you can totally shut out the entire city. Automatic blinds coming down. Bouncing the original with the new, you have your trimless return vents above the bed here. King size bed, dead center in the room, flat screen on the wall here. Just a really sophisticated, elegant space. I even love these things. These are Buster and Punch. I want to say as well, just because they kind of match the fixtures. These brass swivel night lights here. And now for the cool part. Check out the closet. This whole section is the closet space in the owner's suite. You have a wet bar here with more of those beautiful brass handles, coffee maker, open concept shelving here. Then across you have your makeup area, getting ready, getting all glammed up. Then behind me, walk-in closet. Off of your closet you have the owner's bathroom and this is, in my opinion, one of the coolest showers ever. So this is again more of that steel and glass here. Sectioning off your shower room with volcanic black lava slab here on the floor and the wall. Nice little shelf here, rainfall shower head, a bench right across from your soaking tubs. Out of your shower room, we have a floating vanity with more of that reclaimed wood with the concrete here, his and her sink, and look at this, barnyard door sliding vanity mirrors. And then right across from us here, we have, of course, the throne of the palace here. Now I want you to comment below, what do you think of this apartment? Let me know down below and with that, I will see you in the next video.